Jody had extramarital affairs with both men and women while she was married. She has been giving advice to people on marriage and giving advice on parenting. But what isn't mentioned on Jody's website is that back in 2012, she actually got in trouble with state regulators for discussing patients' addictions with leaders from the LDS church and BYU without his permission. This brings me to Adam Paul Steed. He and his wife were a part of the Mormon church went to his leaders and was recommended to go see Jody for marriage counseling for him and his wife. This is when they began to talk and he would say that he felt like Jody was pretty much turning his wife against him, that things weren't getting better, they were actually getting worse. It seems like his wife began to get brainwashed by Jody, and then things got really bad when Jody started to spread lies about him to people that he knew. And then Adam was basically isolated away from his family. This is when he said that his personal life totally began to unravel. He basically said that Jody ruined his life. Adam did fight back though, and he went and obtained legal counsel. The court subpoenaed all of Jody's like emails, and this is where they found that Jody was indeed discussing personal things between her and these emails and other people, and basically he ended up winning, and this is how the state got involved, and Jody ended up getting her license suspended, and she was put on 18 months probation. This is one situation, but that is definitely not the only one because there has been a ton of former clients of Jody's that has come forward with allegations of abusive behavior, control issues, and manipulation even within her own marriage. Some individuals even claimed that Jody had extramarital affairs with both men and women while she was married. And some people even claimed that Jody would be hitting on their wives. There was even speculation that Jody had romantic feelings towards Ruby Frank. Ruby had a YouTube channel called Eight Passengers that she showed her family of eight living their daily lives with a focus on parenting. However, after receiving criticism of her parenting style, Ruby stopped posting on her YouTube channel and eventually deleted it. But something that has recently resurfaced is a video of Ruby sitting and talking to her oldest son, Chad. Now this, this video is years old because Chad is an adult now living on his own, but it's a video of Ruby talking to Chad and talking about Chad's therapist. And guess who's Chad's therapist is? Jody. So when I saw that, I thought, man, how long has Jody been involved like this in this family? Involved with the kids, involved with the discipline, involved with the marriage. Now, after Ruby ended up deleting her YouTube channel, this is when she started making her appearances on the classroom connections with Jody. Now, at this point, when Ruby is making these appearances with Jody, she's giving advice about parenting as well as relationships. But what a lot of people did not know was that Ruby, at this point, had asked her husband, Kevin, to leave the home. So now Ruby, along with Jody, who both of them have these marriages that are like this, and both of them have these situations with their children, are now giving advice on how to have a healthy relationship and how to raise their children. Then on August 30th, Jody and Ruby were arrested on these CA charges, and they're both being held without bail. As we've seen, both Jody and Ruby have made first court appearances, and on September 6th, the Washington County Attorney's Office in Utah said that that Jody and Ruby both are now facing six counts of aggravated CA. Now, since the news has broke that the two of them are in jail and both of them are having medical issues now, both of them are being like put in the medical ward and Jody's been transferred to the hospital. But since then, more people, it seems like, are feeling strong enough to come and speak out. And one of the people that has spoken out has been 
Jody's niece. Jesse Hildebrandt has come out and spoke about the traumatic experiences of living with Jody and receiving therapy from her. Seems like Jesse's parents were maybe desperate when Jesse was younger and going through the teenage thing. It seems like Jesse's parents thought that they were doing maybe the right thing by sending Jesse to go live with Jody, thinking that Jody could help. However, the police report that's come out has showed that back in 2010, Jesse was asking for a safe house. When the investigators questioned and said, okay, why are you looking for a safe house? This is when Jesse told the police that living with her aunt Jody was basically abusive situations. Jody would duct tape the mouth and that's also very interesting that now we're in 2023 and two children were found in her basement duct taped. The cops ended up calling Jesse's father who confirmed that yes Jesse was supposed to be with Jody. Jesse went back with Jody and then eventually Jesse ran away from Jody's. Now to bring all of this together, and there really actually is more that's already come out, more comments, more reviews, and all of that, there is a theory that is going around. The theory is that Jody actually ha like has do does hate men and has these relationships with women, and she excuses it away in her beliefs for, for whatever reason, like it's a different type of connection or whatever, but yet she continues to allegedly isolate these women from their husbands. It is also a theory that because of Jody's reputation and because she has been suspended and she's allegedly done all this other stuff, that she latched on to Ruby because Ruby had a social media presence and this could have been her way to like be a star and make a lot more money was to connect with Ruby. Thank y'all for watching this video. I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.